Hey everybody. Today we're improving our use of color in R. In this vid, I'm going to focus on changing individual colors. In a future vid, I'll talk about doing it group-wise. And once that vid is ready, I'll throw a link up top at the end of this vid. I've already loaded up Tidyverse, of course, and set my theme to minimal. I'm not a huge fan of the default gray background that ggplot provides. In this vid, I'm going to be looking at the MPG data set. And this set consists of 234 observations. Each one represents a car from the model year 1999 or 2008. And this set's loaded up with Tidyverse. So if you've typed library Tidyverse, you have access to it. I'm going to be interested in city mileage and highway mileage. So let's just get a basic ggplot to start. Let's get a scatter plot. So again, the name of the data set is MPG. ggplot is built around working with data sets. On the x-axis, I'm going to want the city mileage. And on the y-axis, let's put the highway mileage. And then we have to let R know how to actually display the data itself. I want to do a point geo, a histogram. So there we go. If I want to add a color, I just add a color argument within geom point. So pretty, pretty straightforward. So let's make these points red. There we go. Notice that I put red in quotes. If you leave out the quotes, R will think you're looking for a variable name. And um, there's no variable named red defined just now. So it won't find anything. There's a lot of different colors that are built in that have names in R, red, green, blue, for instance. You can see a complete list with the colors function, no arguments, 657 built in, some of which sound really fun. Uh, let's try seashell, see how that looks, just for instance. Very, very light, you can barely even see it, so I won't go back to that color. Now, let's get a histogram. I want to show you something that happens when we do histograms. So ggplot, still mpg. Histogram is a single variable plot, so let's just do city and uh, geom histogram. Let's do the obvious thing and specify color equals, and maybe I'll just go with red, and I don't know what happened with my parentheses there, but I'll fix them. Okay, so this might be a little unexpected the first time you try to add color to a histogram. It didn't change the inside um, of the bars. It only changed the color of the boundary color. So when you specify color, that is R's designed behavior. That is how it is supposed to work. If you actually want to change the inside color, that's the fill argument. So let's make the inside of these bars pink. So you can specify either one or both of those. In general, if you're putting two colors on a plot, two or more colors, I recommend against picking them by hand unless you have some background in graphic design or potentially color theory. Plots tend to look amateurish. This one certainly could be worse, but it could also be a lot better, as I think most graphic designers would tell you. Now, sometimes you won't just want to go through this list and tinker with them until you find a color you like. You might have a color in mind, or you want to, might want to be a little bit more specific, um, scientific and methodological in the way that you pick your color. So there are tools for that. Um, in particular, I want to show you, I just Googled color picker here, and um, I want to show you the widget that just immediately comes up. Google has provided a slider here, and you can just find the color that you want. I'm going to pick a nice, rich purple, and then you can choose how light or dark you want it to be. So let's go with that one, a nice princely purple. Down here, you've got a, several different numerical ways of describing that color. The hex is the default that I can just copy onto my clipboard. Great thing, R understands that. So I think what I'm going to do is actually copy and paste my ggplot, and then I'll go back and get this on my clipboard again. And you can just put in the hex code exactly the same way as you would a literal name of a color. So there's my nice um, princely purple. Another thing you might want to do in R is to pick a color just that you've seen somewhere. For instance, you might want to get the colors from the, your favorite sports team or from the logo of your company, or in my case, my college. So let's talk about how to do that. If you look at the hits that you got from Color Picker, and when you Google it, your hits might not be exactly the same, um, many, many, many of them are going to allow you to do this, either to upload an image or to click somewhere on your desktop and, um, and pick out a color. 
I've had good luck with imagecolorpicker.com, so I'm going to go there. And uh, I won't show you as I upload from my desktop. My desktop is a mess. But I have uploaded here the Lake Forest College logo. This is the logo of the college where I teach. Um, so I want to grab this deeper sort of red, this crimson color. And when I click on it, you can see I've got the hex code here. So um, I'm going to take that. I think I'm actually going to do a histogram this time. And I'll make the color that deeper red. Oops, it fell off my, his off my clipboard, so I've got to go back and grab it again. And then let's make the fill this, um, this sort of goldish color. This is not going to be the best graphic design choice for this histogram, but I will live with that. Okay, there it is in my school colors. Um, notice that it does suggest an entire palette for you here. So if you need multiple colors, you're able to get more colors than just the, the couple. Colors that um, may potentially well work reasonably well together. The last thing I want to show you is um, a tiny little bit about how um, the qplot command handles colors. So qplot, quick plot, is designed for plotting vectors. So occasionally you want to plot something that's not coming from a data set. So um, let's get this same histogram using the qplot command. So it is um, mpg dollar city. That's a vector of values. I want a geome histogram. Histogram is the default for a single variable in um, the, for the Q, for the qplot command, but I'm going to be explicit about it anyway. Um, C T Y. There we go. All right, and uh, let's add. How about let's just add a fill, and let's keep this. Uh, I think this was the red. Let's do that. And you're going to see the result's not going to be quite what's expected. And the reason is that even though I put it in quotes, R is still thinking that this is some kind of variable. In particular, it thinks I'm specifying a group aesthetic. So um, that's why I've gotten a legend. What I'm really trying to do is to literally specify a color, not any sort of group. And to specify, to let R know that I'm doing that, I need to wrap that color whether it is written literally as, excuse me, as a word, or in this case as hex in I parenthesis and then quotes. Maybe I'll just make this organized a little bit vertically so you can see it a little bit better. And now I'm gonna get actually that crimson color that I wanted. So remember in Qplot, if you wanna specify an individual color, you gotta wrap it in the capital I. I stands for insulate in this case.